The clips you're seeing on screen right now were not filmed with a camera. They are 4K with sound, fully AI generated clips. It's from a new model called LTX2 from LTX Studios and it promises some really big improvements. You can generate up to 4K resolution clips in 50 frames per second. So I had to check this out for myself. Welcome back to the channel. So nice to have you here again. If you're new here, my name is Thomas and I make videos about product photography and AI. So in my previous video, I checked out C-Dream 4 that's capable of generating 4K resolution AI images. But in this video, we're gonna take a look at LTX2, which promises 4K resolution 50 frames per second AI videos. But before jumping into the examples I showed you in the intro, uh, here's a quick rundown of the specs of LTX2. And I also want to mention this video is not sponsored by LTX, so this is my true and honest opinion about the platform. So here in the LTX dashboard you have the option to choose between image to video and text to video. Now in terms of the model you can choose between the pro and the fast model. When it comes to the length of the video clips you want to generate you can choose between 6, 8, 10 or even 20 second long generations. Now I know everyone talks about longer generations, longer generations when it comes to AI video but personally I'm not quite sure if the longer generations is actually what we want. For example, reference any movies in Hollywood, the most of the shots are usually around 5 to 10 seconds long, and then there comes a cut. So I don't really see a need for longer single generation videos with the AI tools, as long as the quality of the output is good enough. And speaking of quality, in LTX you can choose between Full HD, 1440p, or even 4K resolution videos. And for the frame rates, you can choose between 25 or 50 frames per second. Now other features that are good to mention is that LTX2 is capable of generating both dialogue, audio and music. So you have all the same features that Vio and Sora has but with the 4K resolution results. They also have a storyboard feature, a video timeline editor and you can even create your own pro actor using the models that they have available for you in the dashboard. And I actually created the voiceover for this commercial in the video editor where you can either pick a voice from the default presets or create a new voice based on a preset or even using your own voice. Another interesting feature about LTX2 is that they have an element system where you can upload a reference image of either a character or your product and then name that so the system will remember that as a reference for future generations. So this means you can keep a character or object consistent through many generations simply by referencing it in the dashboard. What's also really cool is that Lightrix, which is the company behind LTX2, is gonna open source the model so developers can build on top of this technology, which is gonna be very interesting to see when it drops. But now let's get into the example and trying to create something actually usable using LTX2. Besides my YouTube videos, I've actually been producing a lot of podcasts during the past couple of years here in Finland. And during these years, one AI tool that I've been using constantly to repurpose the long form content into short form clips is Opus Clip. Now back when I started using them, it was just a really solid AI clipping tool, but since then they have evolved way past that. Now it's not only an AI clipping tool, but a full video AI creation platform. You can auto caption, reframe, enhance audio, or even add AI B-roll or voiceover all inside Opus Clip. From my own experience, it's been quite interesting to see how quickly they actually add new features and tools, and even the captioning in Finnish, which is not an easy language to caption at all, is spot on. So you can literally upload a one hour long podcast or a long form video and automatically have many clips ready to go right away. So if you're creating YouTube content or podcasts or basically anything else, I highly recommend checking out Opus Clip because it's actually a tool that keeps up with the new trends of content creation. And actually now in November they have a 65% discount for the annual plan before Black Friday, so definitely check out the link in the description below and thank you so much to Opus Clip for sponsoring this video. So for me and I guess for many of you that's watching this video, it's been a problem with the AI videos so far that the textures and the look and the resolution of the videos isn't quite 
there yet so it has been a hassle to move around that in order to create something that actually looks cinematic. So now with the new 4k capabilities of LTX2 I thought we would create a commercial for this fake whiskey brand that I just made up just to see what LTX2 actually is capable of. And we're actually going to use the same workflow that I showed you in my previous video where we prompt ChatGPT to learn how to prompt LTX2 with the deep research function and then we're going to create a storyboard using ChatGPT and for all the shots in the storyboard we're going to use ChatGPT again to create the prompts that we're then going to put into LTX2 and try to create this whiskey commercial for the AI slop whiskey. So after some back and forth with ChatGPT, I came up with this storyboard for the commercial. I wanted it to have this kind of cowboy farmer's feel to it with a nice voiceover with a few lines and just a few different shots of the fields, the barrels, and then finally ending up with this shot of the bottle in a field with a bull behind it. So we can get a nice hero shot of the product at the end. So for this test, we're simply going to use the text to image feature within LTX2 and I only have this image as the final hero shot where we're gonna use the image to video feature but all other shots that you're gonna see here are used with the text to image feature within LTX2. I started out by generating this drone shot of the misty field where the camera is slowly moving over the open field in the sunlight and it turned out really well in my opinion. I think you can really see the upside of the 4k resolution and 50 frames per second even if you don't need or gonna use the 50 frames per second per se it's good to have because that means you can also slow the clip down to 25 frames per second for example and now you have a slow motion AI clip of the scene that you generated. I am very impressed with the quality of the clips that comes out of LTX2 and it doesn't really have that AI floating feeling it's really impressive what it's capable of producing. However, something I realized quite quickly is that sometimes the model has problems to understanding the physics of the shot that I tried to describe for it. It also didn't have the best understanding of the specific look of some of the product, like for example in these shots the oak barrels looked a bit off, didn't really look like a whiskey barrel should look. Another negative side about LTX2 is that the credits used for generating 4K clips is quite a lot. I paid for the 30 five dollars a month plan and generated 14 clips in 4k resolution 50 frames per second and it has already used 85 percent of my credits for this month so if you're going to use this tool be aware of the cost per clip when i had generated the clips and the voiceover in ltx2 i simply just took them into final cut pro added some music and this is the final commercial we ended up with In a world run by algorithms, some things still need a human touch. Time, fire, patience, crafted with care and aged to perfection. But the spirit, that's 100% human. So as a summary of my thoughts about LTX2, I think this is kind of the first time that AI video is actually at that point that the quality is good enough for professional work. There is still some quirks when generating the clips, but if you have good reference images and specific use cases, I think you can already generate something that is totally usable in professional work. Which is kind of insane when you say it out loud, that AI can now generate 4K 50 frames per second quality videos that actually look good. But let me know what you think about LTX2 and if you have any suggestions of what I should test LTX2 with, then please leave them in the comments below. But otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.